Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple responsive footer using HTML and CSS. And I will make this footer in a really easy and simple way. So first of all, here you can see we have a simple HTML structure. So in the body, I'm going to mention a div. And in this div, let's mention a class. Let's say the class then will be footer. After that, in this footer, we're going to have our website name. So let's let me just mention a div and in this div let's say h2 and here let's say our website name is web knowledge so for this div we need to mention a class let's say class will be better you can name it anything basically class then so if we now save it then if we open it in the browser there you can see we have a text here called web knowledge so let's go back to our code and let's just make the basic put a structure using HTML, then we do the design using CSS. So after this div, we're going to mention another div. Let's say uh, for this div, we need to mention a class. The class name will be footer underscore content. Then in this div, we're going to have some links for uh, social links like Instagram, Facebook, then our page links and also the addresses as well so let me mention a div here then in this div let's say h2 first of all we're going to mention the services that we provide so we say here services then we're going to mention the services and we're going to keep it inside a p tag and in the p tag we're going to have a anchor tag and for this h shape we're going to give a hash here so let me just copy this p tag and i'm going to paste it two times I hope you can see it clearly and properly. So in this anchor tag, let's say here web development. Then we're going to say here app development. And let's say this will be digital marketing. So right now, if we save it, then if we now refresh our browser, there you can see it will look like this. So let's have a few more options for social links, quick links and addresses. So let's go back and this time I'm just going to copy this div and paste it here. So here this will be social links. So here let's say it will be Instagram. This one will be Facebook and this one will be Twitter. So after this we are going to have quick links. So let's say here quick links quick links of our website in your website we have like home page about us page and also contact page so we we'll say here about us then we we'll just say here contact so we're going to write our last team for the address so here we're going to say address and for address we cannot use anchor tag we only use the tag so here let's say washington washington dc stanford lane house 22 just a random address here we're going to give a phone number let's say random phone number and this one will be our email address let's say our email address then will be way knowledge at the end of gmail.com if we now save then refresh here. So here you can see everything looks like this. So right now, first of all, let me just change the background color for our footer. Let's make our background color black. So let's go back. And first of all, what we are going to do is that we're going to create a style.css here. So I'll just right click here, then click on new file. And I'm going to say here style.css, control S, then set. So we need to link this style of CSS with our index.html. For it, we need to go inside the head section. In the head section, we need to say link. And the link here you can see HF, it will be style.css. We'll say here style.css. So right now our style.css is linked with our index.html. First of all, we want the background color to be black for the footer. So let's go back to the code and here you can see we have a div class footer and inside this class, inside this div class footer, we have every other things in the, for the footer. 
So first, let's go and write some CSS for this class footer. So we go to our style.css. Let me just open a split view here so that you can see both of those. So here we're going to mention this class. Since this is a class, we need to give a dot. Then we need to say here footer to second bracket. We're going to make the background to be black. So we'll say here black. And we'll also make the width to be 100%. If we now save this, then refresh here, there you can see it is flat. And then you can see there is some space over here at the top, at the left and right side as well. So we're going to remove those. So for it, let's go back and here, let me just give a start here. Then we'll say margin, it will be zero. Padding, it will be zero. And we'll also mention box sizing it will be border box. If we now set this, then if we refresh, those gap will be gone. There you can see this right now, no gap. And there you can see we are not able to see that text because the text color is also black. So we need to change the text color. So let's go back again. And here, let me just first change the text color for web knowledge. Here you can see it is inside the header glass. So we are going to give dot header then we'll mention that h2 tag because it is inside the h2 tag this text we'll give to second bracket we are going to set here color it will be white let's also mention then font size it will be let's say 24 px and let's give some padding padding will be 20 px if we now set this then refresh here, there you can see it is here. So let's make it in the center. So for making it in the center, we just need to say here, text aligned, it will be centered. Save it again, let me refresh, and there you go. So let's also fix the color for other things as well. Let's go back, and right now, we're going to change the color for the anchor tag. So here you can see every link or everything is basically inside the anchor tag. So, and those anchor tag is inside this class called footer underscore content. So we are going to say here dot footer underscore content. Then we are going to mention the anchor tag. So here we say anchor tag to second bracket. So for anchor tag, uh, you can see we have a underscore here and the color is purple. So we are going to say text decoration, it will be none. And the text color, it will be white. Let's also mention the font size, it will be 15 px. Let's add a margin, let's say margin will be 15 px. Save it. Let me refresh and there you can see. So let me just fix the services, social links, quick links, and those on as well. And here you can see we have h2 deck, which is inside the glass, footer underscore content. And we have h2 deck for services, social links, quick links, and addresses. So we are going to say here footer underscore content to second bracket. And this is h2 tag, so we need to mention the h2 tag. So first, we are going to say color, it will be white. Then font size, it will be, let's say, 22 px. And let's say margin, it will be 15 px. If we now save it, then refresh, there you can see, those are back services, social link, quick links, but the address is still missing. And the address is, basically, we write it inside P tag. So what we are going to do is that we are going to mention this class again. Then we are going to mention that P tag. So again, we are going to set dot footer underscore content. Mention the P tag. Then to second bracket. And this time I can just copy this from here. Color white, font size 15 and margin 15 px. We can just paste it here. Save. Then refresh. And there you go. So everything right now looks quite good. 
So right now we own the services, social link, quick links and addresses in a single row, side by side. So for it, we need to write some CSS for the footers and this footer content. We don't want to have this side by side. So first of all, we need to mention the footer class. Then we are going to mention this class, footer underscore content. So for it, we need to say here dot footer underscore content then to second bracket. So here we are going to set display, it will be flex. Then we need to set justify content, it will be space between. Or uh, not space between, it will be space evenly. So what this will do is that whatever div we have inside the footer underscore content, inside this class, everything will be side by side by those two lines. So right now, if we save it, then refresh here, there you can see everything is side by side. Right now, let's do one thing, and that is when we take our cursor on the option, the color should change. So for it, we are going to set here, you can see we have put our content and got that. It will just copy this and paste it here. Let me just remove those. And here, we are going to send our it means whenever we take our cursor on any option, it means we are hovering it. And when you are hovering it, we want the color to be changed. And let's say the color will be yellow. Let me save it. Let me refresh. If I now take my cursor here, there can see the color change. So right now, let's go and add a copyright option here that copyright by someone at certain times. So let's go back and this time we we'll go back to uh, here. So inside this class, uh, div class footer, we're going to have a tag called footer. So here, before the last div, we're going to set here footer. And in the footer, we're going to write that hr this one. So this will create a state void line. And here, we're going to set p tag. And in the p tag, we we'll say copyright by and the rate of web technology. Let's also add the year, which will be 2024. So if we save it, then refresh here, there you can see. And we cannot see the text because the text color is black. There you can see. And we'll also make it in the center. So for it, let's go back. And let me just open the speed view again. Let me put down and here we're going to mention the footer tag. Since this is a tag, we don't need to give any dot. Then we'll give the P tag to second bracket. And for the color, we'll be white. And we want the text to be in the center. So we said here text align, it will be center. If we now save it, then refresh, there you can see. So we can also add some padding here. Let's say padding, it will be 15 px and font size will be 15 px as well. Save, then refresh and there you go. So this looks quite good. And if you want, you can also add some icon for uh, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well. So let me just check the responsiveness. So if I just right click here, then here you can see we have an option called inspect. If I now click on inspect, and if we now make it smaller, there you can see. And after a certain length, that design changed here. There you can see. So it's not totally responsive after a certain length. So it's not responsive, let's say after Let's just say 730. After 730, we'll change that design. So here you can see, you will be able to see the peaks in here, PX. So uh, we have to make it responsive. For it, we need to say here, at the rate of media, then to first bracket, we're going to say here max width, then the max width will be, let's say, 730 PX. So we'll give to second bracket. So after a certain width, uh, we'll make some change in that design. Uh, we'll 
show those in a straight line like this, not in side by side. So for it, what you need to do is that, uh, let me just copy this, adhesive dot footer, footer content. I'll paste it here. So this time, this talk justify content, we are going to say here, flex, direction, it will be column. And let's also say here, text align, it will be center. If you now save this, then refresh here, and uh, after 7.30, we mentioned here, 7.30 max width. So after 7.30, it will show us in a column. There you can see, it will look like this. So it is responsive. You can check it for different mobile design as well. This is how it will show in uh, iPhone XR. This is how it will show in iPhone 14. And this is the design for Pixel and this is how it will uh, show on laptop or any case. So this is how you can create a simple footer using HTML and CSS and you can make it responsive really easily. I hope this tutorial is easy for you to follow. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. What type of video I should make next, also let me know. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.